Hey everyone, and welcome to the Saturday show of Let's Talk in English, right here on PTS. Get ready to review all that we learned this week together. My name is Andrea. And my name is Gabe. And do you remember what we learned this week together? You learned how to talk about studying abroad. Andrea, did you ever study abroad? I never studied abroad, but I always wanted to. I thought it would be great to go to a new country, a different country, and study there. That would be exciting. And Sarah has an opportunity to study abroad. Well, everyone, we have an opportunity to review this week's lessons. Let's do that now. Conversation replay. Max, Max, guess what? What? Why are you excited? Here's a letter from mom and dad. They write every week. Why are you so excited this time? They're living in Italy now. Good for them. Italy is great. The food is great. I know, I know. But read the letter. I can go and live with them. You can't go to Italy. You have school. I can study in Italy. I can learn a new language. Can you go just for the summer? No, I can't apply for a summer program now. May is too late for that. Oh. But I can study there next fall. Then find a program now. What kind of program? A study program. Sarah is leaving us. Maybe I'm going to Italy. I think. Why? Why? My parents are living there now, and I can learn new things. Do you speak Italian? No, but I can learn. She can eat great Italian food. You can do that here. Max's Italian food is great. Sarah is sitting at a table in the diner. She is looking at her computer. Next to her are some travel magazines and brochures. She looks at a brochure. Then she looks at her computer. Then she puts all the magazines and brochures in front of her. She looks at all of them and puts her head in her hands. Here's some tea, Sarah. Thanks. I need some. Did you ever study abroad, Renee? No. I really wanted to, but the programs were too expensive. I know. This school year abroad program costs more than thirty-seven thousand dollars. Wow. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Italy. My parents are going to be there. For six months. That's great. Spaghetti, spaghetti is the best Italian food. Here. <laughs> Thanks, Max. But pizza is the best Italian food. You'll eat both in Italy. So, did you decide on a program? I think so. This one isn't too expensive. It's called high school in Italy. Why don't you apply for it? I'm going to. Students usually live with a host family, but maybe I can live with mom and dad. High school in Italy sounds good, and the application isn't too long. But I have to write an 800-word essay. Hmm. What about? About. Why I want to study in Italy? I need to say how the program will help me. Good thing you're a writer. Do you have to do an interview too? No, I just send the application, the essay, and a one hundred dollar application fee. What will you study in the program? I'll study Italian, art history, and some other things. Are the classes taught in Italian or English? 
Some are in Italian and some are in English. Wow, you'll have to learn Italian fast. She will. It's easy. I can speak Italian. No, you can't. Sure, I can. Spaghetti, pizza, fettuccine. Ah. Good thing that's all you need to know. Hi, Betty. Bellissimo. What did you say? Bellissimo. It means very beautiful in Italian. Are you calling me beautiful? You are beautiful, and Italy is beautiful. I'm very excited for you. What a great opportunity! Thanks, Betty, but I'm not sure if I'm going yet. You should. It's the chance of a lifetime. Wait a minute. How did you hear about it? I didn't tell you. Good news travels fast. It sure does. I have an idea. What is it? While you're in Italy, you can be our foreign correspondent for the newspaper. Oh wow! That would be fun. You can write an article about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> What is so funny? When I was a kid, I thought it was the Leaning Tower of Pizza. <laughs> I did too. You're so lucky. When you go abroad, you can travel to different cities and try different foods. You mean if I go, and I would have to focus on studying. You are a good student, but I don't know if I'll be a good foreign student. You will be, and you'll be a great foreign correspondent. Now I just have to decide if I'm going or not. Ready? Yes. Lights. Camera. Action. Action. That's right. This week in our on the go, we got to go to a TV studio and see what happens when people film something. You know, it really is a lot of work. It is a lot of people work together to make a TV show. Well, let's go on right now to review and watch on the, the go. On the go. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm Simon. Are you here to learn about a television studio? You are. Great. Well, then let me show you around on the go. Lights, camera, action! A television studio is a special place where television shows are made. Television studios have many rooms for different kinds of work. Let's look at some of the rooms. Before any kind of filming happens, a set is made. A set can look like a room in a house, or a restaurant, or jungle. Many different sets are kept in this very big room. When sets are needed for filming, they will be carefully moved to a big elevator. This brings them to the studio floor. The studio floor is another big room where all the action happens. A studio needs to be big enough for the different sets. This set is part of Let's Talk in English on PTS. When the sets are not used, they are put in a big storage room. It looks like we're in a real diner. Now, what happens when I walk through the door? Aha! Now it looks like a studio floor again. A studio floor is a very busy place. After the sets are in place, the cameraman, 
lighting, and sound people get ready for production. Ready, lights, cameras, act! Wait! You forgot to talk about something very important! Eddie! Yeah? Simon, you need to tell our friends about props! Oh, yeah! Hey, let's go to the prop room! Okay! Let's go, come on! Wow! Look at all these props! There are so many different things here! That's right! Different sets need different props! Props can be anything from plates, to swords, to other unusual things. These things can help the story or make a set look better. <gasps> Aha! So, Eddie, you are an actor, right? <laughs> yes, I am Eddie, the superstar actor in Let's Talk in English. So, what does an actor like you do here? Uh, let me tell you. All television studios need actors or people who work in front of the camera. Actors do all the acting on the TV shows, but it's not always easy. The days are long and there are many words to remember. I see. Well, we need to go see other rooms now, so I'll... Uh, wait, wait! Simon, because I'm a superstar, don't you want something from me? Because you're a superstar? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. <clears throat> Can I have oh. your autograph? Oh, well, okay. Um, do you have a pen? Oh, um... Um... This is the control room. The director, assistant director, sound and lighting people work here. You can see everything from here. Song. Well, hey friends, it is... Every little TV in this room shows what each camera can see. The director can talk to the cameramen over the intercom and tell them what they want to see. The director is the boss here. Sad. We have learned Olympics. Ah, e. Okay, good. Let's over 15 minutes. Over 15 minutes. Oh, okay, it's okay. Okay. As long as maybe your mom or dad has told you. Wow, this is so much fun. I'm watching a TV show live. I like that restaurant because it is that restaurant. After filming, it's time for editing. This is where a person puts the different parts of the show together to make it look nice. They can also put music in the program. This sound room has many different sound effects. Just listen to all the different sounds. They also have a big video library of all the TV programs here. Hey, I know this show. What a handsome guy. Working in a TV studio can be fun, but it also takes a lot of work. Many people work very hard at the television studio to make very good shows. These people work in offices. Each show is planned here. Hey friends, I hope you learned something new about a television studio today. I'll see you next time on the go. Bye! Beat the G-E-P-T 大家好,我是Thomas 又到了我们B的GPT战胜全民简单单元了 the customer forgot to pay for a DVD 
所以呢，有一个顾客他忘了付钱，他拿了一片 DVD， 结果忘了付账了。She was very 什么 ？When she was stopped at the door， 在门前被人家拦下来的时候，他感觉非常怎么样呢 ？A interested， 他展现出高度的兴趣，不对吧？哈，意思不对。B interesting， 他做人还不错，跟这个没有关系。C embarrassing， 他令别人感到非常的尴尬，没有，应该他自己感到很尴尬。She was very D embarrassed。答答对了哈 ，She was very embarrassed. 她感到非常的尴尬，感到非常的不好意思。She was very embarrassed. 我们来看下一题。That new movie theater is really big. They have thirteen 什么 there. 那一个电影院非常的大，他们有十三个什么呢 ？A seat. Seat 是座位，所以只有十三个座位，应该不能算是大的电影院哈。B screens. Screen is 屏幕 Thirteen screens 有十三个屏幕，表示他们有十三个放映厅。那真是一个大电影院了哈。C channels. Channels 是 TV channels, radio channels, 电视频道或者是收音机的频道，所以 C 不对。None of the above. 以上皆错，没有 B 是可以的哈。多屏幕的十三个 screens 的 B 是对的。我们来看下一题。Are you going to have an 什么 with a famous movie director? 所以这边提到说，你跟那个非常有名的电影的导演将要有什么呢 ？A opportunity. Opportunity 是良机，好的机会。你跟他好的机会，有一个好的机会，不对哈，意思不对。B interview. 答对了。Are you going to have an interview with a famous movie director? 你跟一位有名的电影导演要跟他面试，可以的。To have an interview with C application application 是申请申请学校，所以这边的 interview 面试才对，申请在这边意思不对。D action action 是行动，采取行动的话，动词应该用 take to take action， 所以也不对，选 B interview。我们来看下一题。None of us knows how to give a haircut. 我们当中没有任何人知道怎么样帮人家理头发。It's time to 什么 help？ 应该要请求帮助吧？请求帮助用 A call for help。答对了哈。It's time to call for help。我们既然不知道怎么帮人家理头发，我们就请别人来帮助我们，请求别人帮助。To call for help。B apply for 是申请 ，apply for a school。Apply for a job. 申请学校申请工作都可以，但是在这里呢不对。C answer to answer to a letter. 比如说是回信的意思也不对。D knock on knock on 是敲门也不对。我们来看下一题。You don't need to sum up for someone else's mistakes. 别人的错误你不用不需要做什么呢 ？A understand. 如果用 understand 的话，应该说 You don't need to understand. Other people's mistakes. 比如说，你不用去了解别人的错误，可以。但是这边呢，意思不对。Be sorry. You don't need to. 应该加一个 be. You don't need to be sorry. 别人的错误，你不用觉得非常的抱歉、遗憾呢。C apologize. 答对了哈。You don't need to apologize for someone else's mistakes. 别人的错误，你不用替他抱歉呢。这样对了。D wonder 是纳闷，所以不对哈，应该选 C apologize. 以上的讲解清楚了吗？各位同学，如果要 B 的 GPT 战胜全民英检，一定要在词汇的项目呢多下一点功夫，你就可以战胜全民英检了。Song time. Shadows and from behind the silhouette. Now you're glowing like the sun. Your life has just begun. Should you stumble, you won't fall. Just believe and have faith in the one who sees it all. He'll never let. Dream, dare to believe. You can soar so high beyond the clouds, discovering where dreams are found. Dare to 
week is about studying abroad. Let's study together. If you go to school, you are a student. A student spends time reading, writing, and taking tests. This helps him or her learn. Student. Student. Students study a lot. They go to school and learn different things. The more you study, the more you know. Study. Study. Some people want to study in a different country. They study abroad. There are many countries in the world. America is a country. 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 How do you find out information? You use a resource. Books, magazines, and the internet are resources. Resource. Resource. Now you know where you want to study. You need an application. An application has your name and personal information on it. Application. Application. How much does the program cost? If you study abroad, you have to pay a lot of money. Cost. Cost. Maybe you can study abroad. Remember these words and you'll have word power. Well, everyone, it has been fun reviewing this week's lessons with you all. Thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS. Where, Where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> To the world around. Join your friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Where you are going to learn something new today. I'm Andrea. And my name is Gabe. And you are either listening to the radio, or you're on a computer, or you're watching TV. And today's lesson is called Watching TV. So we'll get started with our key words. The first one is television. Television. Justin watches television after work every day. Over. Over. The movie is over. Everybody is going home. Show. Show. Let's Talk in English is my favorite TV show. On. On. What is on the radio right now? Channel. Channel. 
How many channels does your TV have? Report. Report. Read this report. There's a lot of information in it. We're going to say these keywords again. Say them with us. The first one is television. Television. Over. Over. Show. Show. On. On. Channel. Channel. Report. Report. All right, everybody. Now it's time to find out what today's mission will be. Let's go to Eddie. Eddie! Hey, hey I, Eddie. Uh, I just saw myself on television. And you know what? 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 I look fat. Eddie. Oh, Ed, no. Eddie, what are you, you talking look good. about? You, you look cool. You are a good looking meerkat. Not on television. I you look are. fat. Oh, you know, uh, well, anyway, fat meerkats can give us a mission. <sighs> uh, what's the mission? Okay, mission. Mm -hmm. Here it is. What is Ben doing at Sarah's house? What is Ben doing at Sarah's house? Thank you, fat meerkat. All right, let's go find the answer to this mission in today's lesson. Ben, what are you doing here? I'm watching TV. I can see that. Why are you watching TV at my house? My parents are watching our TV at home. Where is Max? He's at the store. Oh. Is something wrong? You're in my house. And you're watching my television. So? Welcome back, everyone. Gabe? Huh? What are you doing? Well, I'm watching TV. Look. Oh! oh hey! That's, that's what Ben is doing! That's right. That's the answer to the mission for today. The mission is, what is Ben doing at Sarah's house? What is Ben doing at Sarah's house? Ben is watching TV. That's right, he's watching TV. And I just told Andrea that I was watching television. Well, there's our key word. The word yeah. is television. Say it again, television. Television is the full name for TV. Television, TV. You can watch television. Maybe you have a television in your house. Maybe you sit around the television and watch TV together with your family. And you might be watching Let's Talk in English on PTS on a television right now. Now everybody, remember, don't say I'm seeing television right now. Say I'm watching television right now. And what are you watching on television right now? Well, you're watching us and you're learning English from us. That's right. Well, earlier in the conversation, Ben says, is something wrong? I think this is a good phrase to know. If you notice that someone is not doing okay, you can ask them, is something wrong? Well, Gabe, is something wrong? Well, no, Andrea, nothing is wrong right now. Let's go and continue to learn more with Thomas. 大家好,我是Thomas. 首先来学TV. TV就是television. 电视机,电视,television. Tele是远距离的自首. Vision是看得见的影像. 所以在远方就能够看见的影像, 这种机器叫做电视机。Television. 那如果在很远的地方能够听见声音呢? 这种叫做telephone. Phone就是声音的意思嘛? Telephone是电话的意思. 接下来呢? Television要注意它的发音,不是television. 是television. 重音在第一音节, television. 如果是指那一台电视机呢? 也可以加一个set. My television set. 我的那一台电视机,指那个机器的本身。如果是看电视的话,动词用watch. Are you watching TV? 
，就等于 Are you watching television？ 所以这边提到说 ，Don't you have a television of your own？ 意思就是说，你你自己家里没有电视机吗 ？Well, my parents are watching our TV at home. 我有啊，我父母在看呢、啊。所以他后面提到说 ，so so 的意思说 ，so what's your point？ 呃，你你刚刚这样讲的意思是什么意思？有有什么不对吗？我在这边看电视啊。Is is there anything wrong with it? Is there anything wrong with it? 有什么不对劲？有什么不对的吗？或者是说 What's wrong with that? So 就是这样一个意思。我们来看下一段。So so go home. Watch your own TV. I can't remember. My parents are watching it. Oh, fine. So what are you watching? I'm watching NASCAR races. Are they almost over? My favorite show is on soon. What's your favorite show? World Traveler. What time is it on? It is on at six o'clock. Oh, no problem. We have ten minutes. The races are almost over. Well, the race is almost over. But our teaching time is not over. It's just starting. Our keyword is over. Say it with me. Over. Now, if something is over, that means it is finished. The TV show is over. The show is finished. And Ben is watching NASCAR races, and these races are almost over. That means they will be finished soon, so you can watch a show that will be over, or you can go to a concert or a play, and they will be over. That means they will be finished. You can also say lunch time is over. We have to go back to class. <sighs> so true. Lunch time is over. Well, friends, we have another key word to learn. Let's learn it. It is show. Show, a show is something that you can watch on TV. Right now, you're watching a show, or you're listening to this show. It is Let's Talk in English on PTS. And let's use this word again. The word show. When the show is over, I'll go to sleep. Or you could ask, Hey, what show are you watching on TV right now? Or how long is the show? Some shows are short, maybe thirty minutes. Some shows are long, one hour. It depends what you're watching. Our next keyword is on. On. Now we use this word to talk about where. Where is the book? It's on the table. Where is the show? Well, it's on TV. That's right. It's on TV. My favorite show is on TV right now. My favorite show is Let's Talk in English. Well, let's go see one of our favorite teachers. Okay. His name is Thomas. 这里提到 NASCAR races. NASCAR 这种赛车的比赛呢，它的赛车是不一样。它的赛车是普通车改装来做赛车的那种车子，叫做 stock. Car, S T O C K. 另外一个字 car, stock car. 相对于专门是为赛车出厂的那种车子叫做 race car. 专门为赛车的。那刚刚的 stock car 是原来是普通车改装成赛车，那个叫 stock car, race car 赛车。那么这样的一个比赛呢，叫做 car races 赛车的比赛。后面提到 over， 提到说 ，Oh, are they almost over？ 当副词说，哎，你这个节目快演完了吗 ？Yes, it's almost over， 快演完了。It's over。事情如果失败了，说完蛋了啦，哈，没救了啦。你也可以用 It's over。后面提到 show 是指那个 TV show，TV program。这边提到说 ，My favorite show is on soon。Favorite show, 我最喜欢的那个电视节目快上演了，所以这个 show 呢，你可以说 it's show time. Show time 就是好戏要上场了。后面那个 on 也是当副词哈
What time is it on? 什么时候要上演呢？那如果有插电，也可以用这个副词哈。The power is on. 有插电。我们来看下一段。Okay, Sarah, you can watch your show. Here's the remote. Thanks. What channel is it on? It's on channel thirteen. Wait, this. Is a special report about my favorite driver. Can I watch it? But my show is on now. I know. Can I watch this report for just a few minutes? But thanks, Sarah. Oh, Ben. Welcome back, ah,、uh, Gabe. What are you doing? Andrea, I'm trying to find that channel with the special report about the driver. Oh, oh! So you are using your remote to find the channel on the television? Yes, but I can't find the channel. Oh well, we can teach about that word. Yes, we can. That's a good idea. I'll find the channel later. But for now, this word is channel. Channel. And there are different shows on different television channels. A channel is a channel. Every show on TV is on a channel. You can switch channels or change channels. When you go from channel to channel, you see different shows and movies on TV. That's right. So, what channel is this show on? Well, Ben is watching a show. On channel thirteen, and he is going to watch a report about a driver. Let's look at this word. The word report. Report. A report is something that you talk about so that you can give information to other people about something. So you can talk as you give a report, or you can also write a report. You find information and then you write down what you learned in a report. That's a good idea. And another good idea is to listen to what Thomas has to report about. Well, let's listen to his report. Here we go. 这里提到的 remote 是 remote control， 就是遥控器。那这种遥远的感觉也可以形容在人跟人的关系，比如说远亲、远房的亲戚。A remote relative, R E L A T I V E, 亲戚哈 A remote relative. 接下来来学 channel. Channel 是电视的频道，可数的 How many channels are there on TV? 在电视上面有多少频道呢？在哪一个频道演呢 ？It's on channel thirteen. 在第十三台，可以这样子来用哈。Hey. Why do you have to change the channel all the time? 你干嘛一直换频道，一直换频道啊？后面提到 report 是报道或者是报告，所以你可以说 Did you write that in your report? 你有没有在你的报告里面写？而学生的成绩报告单就叫做 a report card. 我们来看今天的 word power. Word power. It's time for word power. This week we're talking about watching TV. What do you like to watch? You watch things on TV. Most people have a TV at home. Some are big and some are small. TV. TV. How do you turn on the TV? You use a remote. A remote is small and has many buttons. Press the on button. Remote. Remote. What do you like to watch? There are many different channels on a TV. A channel has a number. Each channel has different things to watch. Channel. Channel. You can watch a show on every channel. There are many shows on TV. My favorite show, Let's Talk in English, is on at 4:30 p.m. Show, show. I'm going to watch a movie on TV, but first I want to make popcorn. Many people eat popcorn when they watch a movie. 
You can put salt and butter on it. Popcorn. Popcorn. Now that I have my popcorn, I can watch a DVD. Movies are on DVDs. DVDs are easy to use. DVD. DVD. Well, it's time to start the movie. Remember these words when you watch TV. And you'll have word power. Conversation Replay. Ben, what are you doing here? I'm watching TV. I can see that. Why are you watching TV at my house? My parents are watching our TV at home. Where is Max? He's at the store. Oh. Is something wrong? You're in my house. And you're watching my television. So? So, so go home. Watch your own TV. I can't. Remember, my parents are watching it. Oh, fine. So what are you watching? I'm watching NASCAR races. Are they almost over? My favorite show is on soon. What's your favorite show? World Traveler. What time is it on? It is on at 6 o'clock. Oh, no problem. We have 10 minutes. The races are almost over. Okay, Sarah, you can watch your show. Here's the remote. Thanks. What channel is it on? It's on channel 13. Wait! This is a special report about my favorite driver. Can I watch it? But my show is on now. I know. Can I watch this report for just a few minutes? But... Thanks, Sarah. Oh, Ben! Calendar Phrase Are you going to a movie? Me? A movie? Why? Well, you have popcorn, and most people eat popcorn when they're watching a movie. Oh, that is a good question. <laughs> no, I just wanted to take some of Eddie's popcorn. Oh, okay. Well, we also want to teach you our calendar phrase. It is, are you going to a movie? Are you going to a movie? If you want to know about someone's plan, see if they're going to a movie or not, ask them this question. Uh, Gabe, are you going to share your popcorn with me? Mm, I'll think about it. Right now, everybody, it's time to go watch the calendar phrase skit. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, can, can I... Are you going to a movie? 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 Yes. Are you going to a movie tonight? Yes. Are you going to a movie with other people? Yes. Can I go with you? <laughs> sure. Are you going to a movie? Are you going to a movie? Are you going to a movie? Hello, everybody. It's time for the question of the day with our friend Eddie. Am I fat, Gabe? Eddie, you think you're fat, but I really don't think you're fat. You look cool. Okay. All right, then. Then I'll give you the question. All right, here it is. Do you watch a lot of TV? Why or why not? Do you watch a lot of TV? Why or why not? No, I don't watch a lot of TV. I do try to watch my favorite TV show, Let's Talk in English, every once in a while. Hmm, that sounds like a good show to watch every day. Well, hey, friends, thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where, where learning, learning English, English can be fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Step
step up from the shadows and from behind the silhouette. Now you're glowing like the sun. Your life has just begun. Should you stumble, you won't fall. Just believe and have faith in the one who sees it all. He'll never let you fall if you just dare to dream, dare to believe. You can soar so high beyond the clouds. Can be fun. Open your eyes to the world around. Join your friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Everybody get ready to learn something new today. My name is Gabe. And I'm Andrea. This week we are learning how to talk about the movies and TV things you watch on television. This is fun. Join us as we look at today's key words together. The first key word today is... Ring. Ring. Can you answer the phone? It's ringing. Wonder. Wonder. Andy wonders about his future. What will happen? Company. Company. Jessica is the boss of a big company. Maine. Maine. Most students spend the main part of their day in school. Actor. Actor. Mark Ruffalo and Reese Witherspoon are two famous actors. Latest. Latest. What is the latest news on Jenny? Is she feeling better? Okay, well, I hope you're feeling ready right now to review these words. The first one is ring. Say it again. Ring. Wonder. Wonder. Company. Company. Main. Main. Actor. Actor. Latest. Latest. Now let's go see our actor friend Eddie. He's going to give us the latest mission. Mm. I wonder if I will be the greatest actor in the world. Oh, well, yes, Eddie. Maybe that will happen. Okay. Well, here's the mission then. Uh, who is coming to small town? Who is coming to small town? Well, why don't we go to small town with our read it paragraph. Simon and Renee are in the diner. Betty walks in. She says hi to Simon and Renee. Just then, Betty's cell phone rings. Betty answers it and listens. As she listens, she gets excited. Betty starts walking around and talking really fast. Simon and Renee listen to Betty's conversation, but they can't understand her. She is talking too fast. They wonder about the phone call. Why is Betty excited? Why is Betty excited? Do you know, Gabe? Well, listen, Drea. Betty is excited because she got a phone call. A phone call. That's yes. right. 
How did she know that she had a phone call? The phone started to do something. It started to ring. Ring, 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 ring. That's right. That's, yes. That's a very good ring. Oh, thank you. I was working on that,、yeah. but our keyword is ring. Ring. Now, if something rings, that means it makes a sound. A telephone rings, so you know that someone is calling. That's right. So a phone can ring, and then you pick it up and talk on the phone, or your alarm clock can ring. When your alarm clock rings, then you want to get up out of bed and turn off the alarm clock to stop it from ringing. Another thing that rings is a doorbell. If someone wants to come into your house or apartment, they can ring your doorbell. When you hear the doorbell ringing, you know someone is there. Yes, and Betty has just answered her ringing cell phone, and I wonder what this phone call is all about. I wonder the same thing, and I'm sure you wonder about our keyword. Let's learn it. It is wonder. Wonder. Now, when you wonder about something, that means you think about it. You have questions about it. You want an answer. I wonder how my brother is doing. I think I should call him. I wonder how I did on my test. I hope my teacher will tell me. So, if you have any questions, then maybe you are wondering about something. Well, I wonder what Thomas is going to teach about this read it paragraph.、Huh. Hmm. That's a good thing to wonder、hmm. about. Let's go see. Let's go see him right now. 大家好，我是 Thomas。首先来学动词 ring， 铃声响起，叫做 ring。Just then, Betty's cell phone rings. 她的手机就响了。另外，还有什么东西可以响呢？你可以说。The doorbell is ringing. 如果正在响的话 ，the doorbell is ringing. 门铃正在响 ，the cell phone is ringing. 你的手机正在响。那么这个 ring 当然也可以当介词，但是手机铃声叫什么呢？叫做 ringtone. Cell phone ringtone. Tone 是 T O N E. 手机铃声 Cell phone ringtone. 后面看到 fast. Betty starts walking around and talking really fast. 记得 fast 是副词，但是没有 fastly 加 ly 这个字哈、哦。Fast 本身既是形容词，也是副词，要小心。后面提到 wonder. Wonder 是想要知道事情的答案的这个动词 wonder， 费疑猜哈、哦。I wonder what will happen next. 接下来会发生什么事情呢？ Hmm, I'm guessing. Betty is excited. I wonder why. Betty 呢非常的兴奋，不知道是什么事。我在猜嘛，哈。Betty is angry. I wonder why. Betty 在生气，不知道是什么样的原因。And I am wondering if you could help me with this. 呃，我自己在想，你不晓得可不可以帮我这个忙，是我自己在猜的。我们来看下一段。Thanks for calling. This is great news. Bye. Hey, you two. Guess what? What is it, Betty? A big Hollywood movie company is coming to Small Town. They want to make a movie here. Really? Wow. What is the name of the movie? Is anybody famous in it? The name of the movie is Found. And James Redgrave will be the main actor. Well, we see the answer to our mission here in this conversation. The mission is: Who is coming to small town? Who is coming to small town? A big Hollywood movie company is coming to small town. That sounds great, and what also sounds great is that key word, the word company. Say it again with me, company. A company is a group of people who work together, or it's a business, a company. Yes, you can have a big company. Many people work there, 
or a small company, maybe just two or three people working at the company. And if you want to know how many people work at a company, the question to ask is, how big is your company? That means how many people work at your company. Well, we have another key word here. The word is main. Say it again. Main. The main thing is the most important thing. So the main actor here is the actor you care about the most. If you have a conversation with a friend, what you talked about the most is the main thing you talked about. And we find out that James Redgrave will be the main actor for this movie. Let's look at this word, actor. Actor. An actor is the person who plays in a movie or on a TV or radio show. The actor. Maybe you have favorite actors, actors that you like to watch in TV or on movies. Yeah, who is your favorite actor? Well, think about that. Now it's time to go and listen to more English. Here, let's learn company. This word is company. Big company, a big company. Small company, a small company. If it's a power company, a power company. 那么，水的自来水的公司呢？当然是 a water company。这边提到的是 a movie company， 跟动词连用可以用 work for。work for 为什么公司来工作 ？What company do you work for？ What company do you work for？ Oh， I am working for a computer company。我替一家电脑公司工作，同样是这样的一个用法。后面提到 main actor， 主要的演员。main 是主要的。我们来造句 ：You have to study hard. That's the main thing. Because you are a student， 你必须要努力用功念书，这是最主要的事，因为你是一个学生嘛。actor， actor 呢，以前叫做男演员，现在为了追求男女平等呢。actor 是演员，那如果是男演员，加一个 male， male actor。Female actor is 女演员，所以如果有人问你说 Who is your favorite actor？ 这个时候你可以答男生，也可以答女生。问的是你最喜欢的演员是谁？我们来看下一段。James Redgrave, I love him. I do too. He's a really good actor. I agree. Did you see his latest movie? No, I didn't. Was it good? Yes, it got really good reviews. Simon and I saw it together. Did you like it, Simon? It wasn't bad, but it was a love story. I don't really like those. Well, Simon doesn't really like love stories. Gabe, do you like love stories? <laughs> <laughs> love stories. Well, sometimes I can watch love stories, but I usually like comedies. Okay, okay, I I understand. Well, Simon does say that the last movie, the latest movie that James Redgrave was in, wasn't bad. This is a good phrase to learn. It wasn't bad. If something is not bad, that means it is okay. Hey, Andrea, how was your day? Oh, it wasn't bad. It was a good day. It was a good day. Or how was your meal? Oh, it wasn't bad. Yeah. So this is a good phrase to know. It wasn't bad. Our key word is also a good word to know. Let's say it together.、Uh... Latest. Latest. If something is the latest. It is the newest. The latest book is the newest book that you can find from an author. Everybody, do you have the latest Let's Talk in English magazine? Well, you should. It might make learning a little easier. Yes, be sure to get the latest Let's Talk in English magazine, and let's learn more from Thomas. 
。这里我们来学 ，Did you see his latest movie? Latest 形容词，最近的，它是从 late 迟到的那个迟 ，late later 形容词的比较级，最高级是 latest。Did you see his latest movie? 最近的电影你有看吗？他的最近的那一部片子，你也可以说 latest， 还可以照说哦。Oh, what is the latest news on Jenny? 比如说有关 Jenny 最新的消息是什么呢 ？Latest news， 或者你可以说 at the latest， 最迟到什么时候呢 ？Well, have it done by Tuesday at the latest. 最晚呢，要在礼拜二之前把它完成。最迟到什么时候叫做 at the latest？ 后面提到 review， review 是回顾，但是如果是 book review， 是人家给你的书评；如果是 movie review， 是人家给你的影评。当然，有的时候会有 magazine review， 人家来评比你的杂志哈，所以人家来审查、回顾、来判断。所以你可以说 the movie got really good reviews. The book got really good reviews. 后面提到的 love story 当然是爱情的故事。我们来看今天的 how to 单元。How to. Hello everyone and welcome to how to. Today you will learn how to ask someone to change the channel. Romeo, Romeo, where are you, Romeo? I'm right here by the TV. There you are. Meet Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Oh, good. You're watching TV. We're learning how to ask someone to change the channel. So, what's the first way? Daniel, please change the channel. You want me to change the channel? Okay. Okay. What's the second way? Can we watch another show? You want to watch another show? Okay. And the third way. Is there anything else on TV? Yes, there are many shows on TV. That means. He wants to watch another show. Okay, let's review. Please change the channel. Can we watch another show? Is there anything else on TV? So, what do you want to watch? I want to watch Let's Talk in English. Oh, that's a great show. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Now you know how to do it, but don't change the channel. Stay right here. Conversation replay. Simon and Renee are in the diner. Betty walks in. She says hi to Simon and Renee. Just then, Betty's cell phone rings. Betty answers it and listens. As she listens, she gets excited. Betty starts walking around and talking really fast. Simon and Renee listen to Betty's conversation, but they can't understand her. She is talking too fast. They wonder about the phone call. Why is Betty excited? Thanks for calling. This is great news. Bye. Hey, you two. Guess what? What is it, Betty? A big Hollywood movie company is coming to Small Town. They want to make a movie here. Really? Wow. What is the name of the movie? Is anybody famous in it? The name of the movie is Found. And James Redgrave will be the main actor. James Redgrave? I love him. I do too. He's a really good actor. I agree. Did you see his latest movie? No, I didn't. Was it good? Yes, it got really good reviews. 
Simon and I saw it together. Did you like it, Simon? It wasn't bad, but it was a love story. I don't really like those. Calendar phrase. So, Gabe, do you want to play basketball? Hmm. No. No. Do you want to watch a movie? Hmm. No. no. Oh! 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 Do you want to watch TV? Bingo, Andrea! That is our calendar phrase for the day. Yes, let's say it together. Do you want to watch TV? Do you want to watch TV? If you want to watch TV and want someone to join you, then use this calendar phrase. Well, Gabe, do you want to watch our calendar phrase skit? Yes, I do, Andrea, and I think everyone should join us. Join us now as we go to the calendar phrase skit. Do you want to watch TV? Do you want to watch TV? 你想看电视吗 What are you doing now? Do you want to watch TV? Nothing, but I should do some homework. Do you want to watch TV? Well. What are you watching on TV? A car show. That sounds cool. So, do you want to watch TV? Sure. Good. Tell me what happens. I have to go to the bathroom. Do you want to watch TV? Do you want to watch TV? 你想看电视吗 You know. Eddie really is our favorite actor, isn't he? That's right. He's yes. my favorite actor. My favorite actor too,、mm-hmm. Eddie. What is today's mission? Oh, okay. T- today's mission? Yes. Oh, oh, I mean the question of the day. <laughs> yes. Oh, tricky, tricky. Okay, the question of the day is: Who is your favorite actor? Why? Who is your favorite actor? Why? Oh, my favorite actor is Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, because he is really funny. I mean, I mean, my favorite actor is Eddie, because he's a cool meerkat. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And you can see him every day right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be fun. Bye bye.